Hello and welcome back to Sanal Web YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to add load more button in your website. If you have uh, so many content on your website, so let us see live demo first and we will set up this code into your web page or step by step we will see how to use this load more button into your website. So let us see the demo first. Here you can see I created one live demo for you. So first time we will display only five records but when I click on this load more button at that time again it will get data from the database more five records and here you can see that five record will display here but when I click on again load more it will get data from the database here for demo purpose I get only five records if you want more record then you can set that limit on your query so this is how this load more button will work and how is it possible or how to configure this load more button into your web page so let us see step by step so here you need to create one simple file like index.php right I already created that file so here you can see index.php I explained this whole file inside this file what we have done or what I have done here so here you can see simply I include some library here you can see we include jquery min.js file which is required to write some javascript code and here you can see I include bootstrap min.js and bootstrap min.css file why I am including this file because I use bootstrap framework to design my page so here you can see I use that bootstrap class here for button and for table I use bootstrap table so that's why I include this two more library if you don't want this then you don't require to include this file and here I write some custom code or custom CSS code so here you can see I declare two class like loader div and loader img it means here you can see when I click on this load more button here at that time one loader will display so for that I declare this custom CSS code and custom CSS so you must have to include this custom CSS right and also you need to include this GI file which is used for loading right so whenever I, you click on load more button at that time this image will showing here so you must have to see whenever I click on this load more button at that time this GIF will display here right so this this GIF you must have to put into your folder right I also shared this file with you I also here you can see I created one file like index.php right after that you you must have to display your dynamic data while you click on your load more button so for that you must have to declare some code or write some code here so I simply created one table here right you must have to see I simply created one table and inside that table my dynamic data will display here the most important you must have to pass id is equal to dynamic data so by using this id we will put our dynamic data inside this t body tag right so here right now there is nothing so whenever i click on this display data at that time we will dynamical data will put inside this t body tag right now one more thing we need to pass one hidden field and we need to create one hidden field here and inside this hidden field we will store our row count it means how many row right now op open or how, how many records are displayed right now so that calculation we are storing here first time it will zero so when I click on F5 button or refresh at that time zero record will be there and after that call this function it will display five records right so 
here you can see first time we will pass as a row count is equal to 0 and when I when I on click or when I pass or when I call this function at that time it will display 5 records so here whenever my page will load at that time I automatically call this display data function so very first time at that time row count will pass as a zero right and we are call one file like display underscore data dot php so you must have to write this method inside this script tag right so you must have to declare this function display underscore data and inside this function we simply call one ajax block right or ajax call right and inside this url we have pass display data dot php so you must have to create one file like display data dot php and i also mentioned all the steps in this my blog so you must have to follow this my blog so here you can see we call ajax blog right i already i already told you and here we create one file like display data.php that file also we have opened right now here you can see and inside this file you must have to copy paste this code right i already copy paste that code in my file so here now i explain how is it work right first we have to include one file like database connection.php file right if we need data from the database so obviously we need to connect our database into this file so you must have to pass or you must have to connect your database by using this database credential and you must have to create one file like database connection.php i already created that file database connection.php and inside this file you must have to pass your host name your username password and your database name right once you pass this all the credential you can use your database connection file inside this display underscore data dot php file now here you can see very first time we pass row count as a zero right so at that time my row count will pass here as a zero and now here you can see our last row count is equal to 0 it means my query very first time look like this 0 right so very first time it will display only 5 records right why we are passing this row count it will when you click on again click on this row count at that time we require a last row count so that's why we are initialize this row count and that pass in a response let us see at the very first time when i reload this button i open my inspect element and let us see at very first time what my parameter will pass here here you can see my display data dot php file will call at that time my row count pass as a zero and my response coming like this right and that response we have a put here now how this response will send so here you can see our query will run now once your query will run at that time that result we are accessing by using this mysql underscore fetch array method and that method return your data into this variable and we are accessing this event id event name and all that right so re file record will store inside this variable and after that this variable we have passed inside this array and this array 
will pass as a response by using json encode method right so you must have to pass this array and here you can see our response look like this right so our response is look like this and this response we have access here here you can see response dot row count and response dot data and that data will append in this dynamic data id so here we already declare so whenever we are click on load more button at that time our dynamic data or our response will set inside this t body tag right so this is how this load more data will work here you can see this row count pass as a 5 and that 5 will pass here and that will initialize again and again whenever you click on load more button it will initialize with 5 so suppose I click on this load more button and it will row count is 10 so this is the logic every time I initialize that row count and that pass into the response and again will send as a row count as a data so by using this logic you can pass your row count and display your load more data into your web page so this is how this load more will work and also here you can see i i declare a one table and sample data here you must have to use this sample data to perform this demo and also I share this entire code with you so you can download this code from this download button and you can use this code into your website or into your web page so how was this video please write it down your comments in comment section and if you have any query then please write it down your comment and I hope this video will very useful for you and thanks for watching this video